as probably many of you, I'm always dreaming about exploring foreign countries, going to remote places where nobody else really can get to and just enjoying the great outdoors. And that's why I decided I finally want to build myself an expedition vehicle that is capable of bringing me safely to all those places and maybe also with a little bit of comfort. And with that I mean a vehicle that I can travel with all around Australia and afterwards hopefully much much further. So the first thing I had to do is to decide what vehicle. For me personally there was only one car in particular that I always wanted and it's an icon of the overland scene. Introducing the Land Cruiser Troop Carrier. This is a Toyota Land Cruiser Troop Carrier. Known for its durable design, the Land Cruiser platform is a common choice of vehicle for overlanders and explorers all over the world. While it certainly doesn't shine with any sort of luxury, there's a specific reason why it's so popular under overlanders. A durable four-wheel drive vehicle in the size that is nearly that of a van gives a unique opportunity to build an exploration vehicle with a living quarters inside. This troop carrier is nearly as stock as it came from the factory floor. However, we're going to spend the next couple of months to turn this one into a global expedition vehicle. I will do so as much as I can by myself for various reasons. First of all, I don't have the budget to just give the car to a big outfit and have it all done. But most of all, because I really do enjoy planning and building my own overland truck. It's just part of the journey for me. I will do so pretty much everything here in my small little garage with very simple hand tools and it will take you along for the whole journey with me. But first of all we have to come up with a good concept for the interior fit out and for that I got something prepared. So to start off with I designed the rear cargo space of the troop carrier which looks roughly like this. Good enough to keep designing on it basically. <laughs> For the interior design, it is important to know that I'm planning to equip the Troopy with a so-called rooftop conversion. This will take care of the sleeping space and allows us to stand up inside, basically. To get a little bit better sense of space in this area, I also designed the driver and passenger seat. What's going to be a little bit unique to our setup is that we're also going to be traveling with a fairly large dog, our Kelpie Maya. And she's going to be sitting in the rear where she's going to have her very own seat. So now that basically both of us plus our dog have a seat while traveling, we can continue with the kitchen and storage setup. The kitchen and storage setup is both going to be sitting on the right side of the troopy, roughly here, and it's going to look something like this. So. As you can see, there's going to be a lot of storage space available. On the left is mostly going to be for all the clothes. The right side with the kitchen counter also going to have a sink with a water faucet there to wash your hands and do the dishes. We're going to have a upright fridge sitting right there and the rest is all going to be storage space. Once the kitchen is done, we can now have a look at the seating area, which is going to be on the opposite side of it. For that, I'm just going to add a little bit of a cut away to that structure just so we can see a little bit better. All right, this should help a little bit. For the seating arrangement, there was one thing that was very important is that the fridge still can open completely. At the same time, I wanted to have an arrangement where we can sit towards each other to well, eat, but also to play games, for example. So I came up with this idea. So this kind of bench setup basically will allow us to sit towards each other while we have food and allows the fridge door to completely open.
As always, storage space is absolutely key. So I also added a drawer system that we can access from the back as well as a foldable table to eat on. And here it is. That's the concept for the fit out for the troop carrier. Now that we have a design in mind, we can start building a mock-up. A mock-up is not always necessary, but it gives you a great sense of how ergonomic your design is. But before we can start with that, we just have a little bit of preparation to do. To start with a good foundation, there are a few spots of surface rust that I have to remove and treat. After removing the surface rust with a grinder, I'm treating it with some rust remover. A liquid fresh paint and it's as good as new. For the mock-up I'm only using scrap wood to keep it cheap and easy. So the prototype fit out is pretty much done and I'm quite happy with it I have to say. We got a seating area now that fits two people that can sit towards each other and have a meal. We have our flip out table so we can work or eat on top of it. Not 100% sure about the design yet but that's due to change. And of course we have our kitchen aisle which is designed to incorporate an 80 liter upright fridge and a sink of course and the higher shelving unit. So now the only thing left to do is to give it a proper test sit. However, for that I need the help of my assistant. Good girl! Sit! I have sit. Do you like your seat? Hmm? <laughs> Good girl. I think that's a great dog seat, but there's more. I was thinking, since I already have a seat in here that is suitable for my dog, might as well give it a double use and make it suitable for a potential third traveler as well. Like, for example, you want to pick up a hitchhiker or you just have a friend who wants to tag along for a couple of days. How nice would it be that he could just sit down in the back and travel with you? Let me show how it works. You can flip this backrest down. I'll use the factory, factory rails. I slide the seat back. And voila! Third person could pretty comfortably sit in the back here and can even adjust this backrest. All in all, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I know that the prototype setup like this is, can be seen maybe as a little bit of overkill, but it has helped me personally a lot to figure out what I want out of this build. Um, I found out that I'm not yet happy with this setup of a table. 
I want it to be able to swivel maybe. So that's something I'm gonna change. But most of all, I'm not quite happy with the height of the bench top, the kitchen top setup. This is obviously designed to incorporate an 80 liter upright fridge, which also needs to sit on top of the wheel arches, which therefore determines the height of this kitchen setup. So I do consider maybe downsizing to a 65 liter upright fridge and therefore have a little bit more play here is of where I want the height of this kitchen top to be. But the good news is that this marks the end of the prototype setup and we can start building the real thing. In the next episode, we're gonna start building and installing the first pieces of furniture.